Last week, it was announced that the cast of Martin will be reuniting for a reunion special in order to celebrate the 30th anniversary of the premiere episode. Martin Lawrence, Tisha Campbell, Tashina Arnold, and Carl Anthony Payne will all be present. Now, fans of the show are well aware of the drama between the show's two leads, Lawrence and Campbell. In 1997, she filed a lawsuit against Martin, claiming that he sexually assaulted her off set. The drama caused Tisha to leave the show, but she later returned under the condition that she shared no scenes with Martin. Since then, the two have reconciled, have been seen together, and even teased a reboot series. This has got us wondering if Martin and Tisha will address their old troubles. Today we have our company hype analyst Vanessa Fraction, Capone, and Pierre calling to the show to give their reactions. But first, let's take a look at some behind the scenes. Robbie Reed. Robbie Reed. Didn't you cast for the show too? I did not. That was Kim Williams. That was Kim Williams. Now, as I mentioned, a lot of people are excited for this. I know we had the, the reboot that we got excited for, and now we have the reunion. I want to start with you, Pierre. What what was your reactions when you saw this and what are you hoping to see out of it? Um, I seen why not? Um, you know, it is in the lexicon of of, of black, you know, television. Um, you know, I think it's cool. I mean, you know, the Fresh Prince did it, and I thought it went well. So I look forward to seeing uh, what they look like and what they're doing uh, together to see what the chemistry is. But I realized, I also realized this is also 20 years later or 25 years later. So I'm not expecting it to be the same Martin that I grew up on or watched, you know, um, like the rest of y'all. So, but I'm looking forward to seeing them together. Right. Uh, Vanessa, I'll come to you next. What, what was your first reactions, and where are you hoping to see out of this reunion? Well, I think reunions are cool and Martin's one of my favorite shows. So of course you want to see everyone um, reunited. Um, what would I like to see out of the reunion? Um, of course, I would love to see the tribute that they're going to give to Tommy Ford. Unfortunately, he's not um, with us anymore. So, you know, they, there's a lot of love in that cast. So I would really love to watch some of the um, memories and stuff like that and hear them share about him. Um, the whole cast is just Stella. You know, Carl Payne and Tashina Arnold, just everybody, Mark, you know what I mean? So you just want to see all of it. I actually am interested in knowing what happened to Garrett Morris, um, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the station manager. Where the hell he go? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like they just fired him. I heard, or there was an article about it saying like um, he got, it was in a robbery and it got shot or something like that. And then they fired him while he was still in the hospital. And I was like, damn, you ain't gonna give him no FMLA or nothing. Like you just right, fired right. him like that. So very, very interested in knowing what happened with that. And just in general, just want to see the cast together. No, I'm, I'm definitely with you there. I thought of that um, once this came out, that was one of my first thoughts as well. But Capone, I want to come to you. What was your initial reaction? What are you hoping to see out of this reunion? Um, well, I think it's a great thing, uh, as long as everybody is, uh, you know, um, on the same level of uh, participating to make the show great again, and all the friction that we all know that was going on doesn't um, surface. Right. Now, speaking of friction, uh, we mentioned a couple things here. Uh, Vanessa, I know you mentioned one as well, but one that we kind of seen come together without that conversation is between, you know, Martin and Tisha, where, you know, they had some beef that where she, you know, as I mentioned earlier, she filed a report saying that she was sexually assaulted, but they've never had that conversation. So I'll start with you, Pierre. What are your thoughts? Are you wanting to see them have the conversation kind of like what we saw with Will and Janet Huber when they actually sat down and had that conversation where we're all able to reconcile together? Pierre? Um, no, at the end of the day, there's two grown folks. Do we need to be in a business? This is outside of their movie, you know, the TV show. Do we really need it? Do we need it? Like, are we that petty? It's like, I got to understand why y'all did that. Do we really need it? Though? As long as they're back together again, why they're back together again, I don't care. As long as they got back together and it worked for them. Them are two grown folks. I don't need to be in them grown folk business. Now, we can watch the show. And as long as the show comes together and it's reboot, like I said, it's just a reboot. I'm not reboot. It's just a, a reunion. An anniversary. Yeah, I understand it's a 30 year anniversary of coming together. Like I said, I'm not expecting them to look the same, act exactly the same as they did years ago. We'll see what an older Gina, or older Martin, or older Tommy, I mean, Tommy, but um, a Cole and them, uh, um, Pam, we'll see what they look like and how they act and move. You know what I'm saying? As this. But as far as knowing their business, why they got together, I don't need to know that. That's an interesting perspective. I, I didn't think about it like that. Um, but Vanessa, I'll come to you. What about you? Are you are you hoping to see them have a conversation and reconcile, you know, in front of the audience? 
Actually, no, I'm not looking forward to that. It's quite uncomfortable. Um, I don't want to sit <laughs> and watch that conversation in front of everybody. As Pierre said, those are two adults and that was more of an HR situation. If they handled it or whatever, however they handled it, that's more between them. Whatever information was let out, was let out. You know what I mean? She said she was going to come on and do these. You know, apparently they've gotten right. over it and let's just stay over it. I would prefer mm -hmm. to see what um, Shanene going to look like right now. Is he going to get into Ooh! some of those characters? Ooh! Is he going to do little Roscoe? You know what I'm saying? Like older Roscoe at this point? Are you going to have like a uh, bro man from the fifth floor jump in there? Are you going to have some of those special guests that came through come back out and talk about it? Like Tracy Morgan, is he going to stop through? You know what I mean? Like right. there's so many positive, you know, points that we can lean toward that I actually don't, I'm not really here for the drama. Right, just keep it keep it light and keep it fun. Capone, I'll, I'll come to you last but not least, but what, what are your thoughts? Are you hoping to see them have a conversation where they reconcile while, you know, they're at the reunion? No, I'll probably copy everything that Vanessa said. Um, she's right about that. I, I care not to hear about the story. I didn't care about to hear it then. You always kind of pick uh, who you believe, you know, um, and you don't want to and like like Pia said, but you know they grown. They obviously something happened where they coming together to do this reunion. So I don't want to hear about it. No. Yeah, no, I can definitely understand. I think a lot of people are just interested to you know see that conversation unfold because you kind of feel like you're a part of the family. But I think you guys bring up a great point. That's you know the show, but those things really happen you know in real life, and that's why it affected the show. Now, Capone, I'll stick with you because you kind of gave your uh, your remarks earlier. But the reboot, as, uh, re excuse me, excuse me, the reboot as we know is not you know no longer a thing. It was we heard about it, people got excited. Do you think that was the right thing to do to cancel it and not bring it back? Capone, I'll start with you. No, I don't think that it should be rebooted because of the fact that there's so great memories of the Martin show. And I'm glad that they canceled it because if it didn't go right, then that's what you stuck with. You know, when you got great memories yeah. of something, those are the memories that you want to keep. Uh, we don't know what it would have been like. Uh, there's still friction there, you know, and all the cast is not there. Uh, I would like to have the memories of what I used to watch with the Martin show. Now, Vanessa, I see you shaking your head. What are your thoughts? Do you think it was a good idea that they cancel the reboot? I'm a, uh, I actually probably would have watched it. I would have wanted to see like a limited, limited edition. You know what I mean? Like a couple of episodes, just where are they now kind of situation or something. Right. Maybe even a one hour, one and done. You know what I mean? Kind of thing. It would have been interesting to me and I would have tuned in for it because there's so much that you can kind of reach at, you know what I'm saying, and do. So I would have been here for a little reboot, now a full on, like how they doing the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and all, or Bel-Air as it is now called and so forth. I No, I wouldn't want a serious Martin or, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, any of that. But um, so I could have been here for something limited. Okay, Pierre, I want you to chime in on this one. What do you think? Do you think they made the right idea to cancel it? Um, a right idea, we don't know. I mean, how do we know that until we saw it and seen it? Um, yes, if, if you're expecting him to be 1992 to 1997, Martin, then yeah, you know, yes, I'm glad he didn't do it if you expect it. Unfortunately, some people expect, expect that. You know, some people have the common sense to know they're grown, it's not gonna be right. the same. You know, very few, you know, reboots have the same magic as the first one. It would be a money grab. I think I wouldn't do it. I don't, I don't know if anybody needs money like that. They need the money that bad, you know, to do that. But I would have said no to it, um, to do the <laughs> money grab for that. So, you know, people ask me to do how to be a player two or three times and do baths again, man. It's over, brother. You know, thank y'all for loving when y'all saw it. It's over, you know. You know, so if you see me doing bats too, or how to be a player, it's definitely a money grab, okay? It's money, it's money grab. Well, we'll we'll make sure to hold you accountable to that as well. No, but no, yeah, no, yeah, I think. It is. I the Connors are doing good, time. though. The Connors are doing good. There's a couple of reboots. The full That's what I was going to say. But, but, you but the Connors ain't doing good. The Connors ain't 30 years later either, though. Yeah. I don't know. It's the a time. difference between five years later and 30 years later, okay? Yeah, and I think I think it just depends. Sometimes it's like better to leave some things alone, like just leave it where it was, and then some things you can actually see, and it's like, oh, okay, well, it's not that bad. But regardless of anything, the, the reunion will happen, so we'll be able to see them come together and hopefully some surprises. Go ahead, Pierre. It's just like relationships. Sometimes you don't go back, okay? Once you're done, you're done. Okay, come on, Symphony. You ain't going backwards. You ain't going backwards with one and done. That's what we're doing, okay? We all had a season. The season was what it was, and now we need to move on, okay? 
<laughs> well, there, there you have it. As always, I appreciate y'all for calling and chiming in. You heard from us, now we wanna hear from you in the comments below. What are your thoughts about the reunion of Martin? For Comedy Hype News, I'm Symphony Thompson. Put it in those comments so we can Put read them. Put it in the comments. Did you enjoy today's show? You can stop by comedyhype.com backslash shop to pick up your Comedy Hype News show mug today. And don't forget to always protect black culture.